Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Timing Tarot. This is Tanya. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Good afternoon, Divine Timing Tarot family. I love you. I thank you. I truly appreciate you. Guys, um, from now until the end of May, I will be doing readings for $25, one question, $10. This is for my subscribers, and I'm just showing my appreciation. So from now until the end of May, all the readings are $25. One question is 10. So I hope you guys take advantage of that. And I am available today. I'm available today, tomorrow. So just email me or text me or just leave me a message, okay? All my information is in the description box below. So Taurus, we're here doing a general reading for Taurus. Taurus, I've already shuffled sage and prayed over your course. This is for the second two weeks of May, 2023. What do we have for Taurus? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. Okay, Taurus, you have success. Congratulations. So you have success here. And at the bottom of the deck, meditation. So let's see, let's get some information on those two cards. Y'all hear some growling in the back. It's my my grandbabies. <laughs> my kids' dogs, okay? Shh, shh, shh. It says, you must celebrate now as I do for you have achieved success, okay? And then meditation. Be still and listen to the sounds of the pulsing energy as the life force in, inherent, inherent in all the things sings a, a gentle song to your sweet ears. This is a meditation. This is you needing to meditate, pray, possibly do some soul searching also. Whatever it is that you're going to do, you're going to be successful at it, Taurus. Be still and be quiet and you won't miss anything. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this means. What do we have here for Taurus? What do we got for Taurus? God, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What do we have for Taurus? What do you have for Taurus? What is the situation here for Taurus? Yeah, that wants to come out. Okay. What do we have for Taurus? Hmm. You're either holding on to your coin, saving your money possibly holding back from someone but you're feeling yeah you're feeling really guarded here seven of wands and you got the nine of wands here you're putting down boundaries you're protecting yourself you holding back from somebody maybe like i said you could be saving your money holding on to your money this seems like i mean the way she holding on to that money is like real stingy like a stingy, like, you ain't getting none of my money. I don't know why I'm saying that, but you also got the Ten of Pentacles. I see you're financially stable here. And you're holding on to your money, and you ain't giving nobody none. None. Look at her, how she looking like, excuse me? No, I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing for you. And then you got the Six of Cups in the reverse. So it's like you don't have good memories. You don't want to go back to the past. There's not a lot of good memories. You're moving forward. Stability here. Four of Wands. Yeah, I'm saying you're moving forward. It's very stable financially. But what is you... Why are you in the Nine of Wands energy? You've been through a lot. You still, you know, you're still willing to fight here for something. But you also guard it from something. Ooh, underneath that is the devil. But then you got the star here too. 
and the Ten of Cups. Who are you um, digging? You're digging somebody here. See, so you're moving, you're determined to move forward. Moving away from competition, fussing, fighting, and arguing. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here. Somebody here makes you happy. I see you, you're, you're very optimistic about something. Something here is going to go in your favor. Maybe you're healing from toxic things, toxic people. Hmm. Let's, um... I see you're, you're guarding yourself from something in your past. Someone, maybe? I don't know. Let's clarify. Oh, I'm going to use the other cards to clarify. Oh, I don't know why I picked these up. Maybe I needed to use these. I see you're, yeah, you're cutting things out that no longer serve you. Yeah, you're cutting things off. Why is the Six of Cups in the reverse? I see the two of swords here, so maybe you're trying to make a decision. Or maybe you're refusing to make a decision. Maybe you got to make a decision between two people. A new beginning here. I see the sun is shining. Yeah, here's the hermit. I told you. Maybe you needed to go within about something here. Why is the two, why is the six of cups in the reverse? Why is the six of cups in the reverse? Hmm. You got the nine of cups in the reverse. So something in your past was not wish fulfillment for you. And then you got the ten of cups. You're moving towards emotional fulfillment. Something in, in your past didn't emotionally fulfill you? Why is the Nine of Cups in the reverse? Why is the Nine of Cups in the reverse? Yeah, could have been juggling something. It's a lot of cups here too. Somebody could have been overindulging. Or somebody could be overindulging. It's a lot of cups here. Why is the four of wands here? Why is the four of wands here? We got the wheel of fortune. The moon and the king of wands. So you're taking action. You're secretly taking action on moving forward towards your stability here. You moving, you ain't letting nobody know what you're doing. And you, you definitely let nobody know how much money you got. Something here is going in your favor, the world of fortune. Um, there's big happy changes coming in, very stable. Finan I mean, financially stable, for sure. But something here is going to move in your favor. And you're taking, you're secretly taking action on, on, on your stability here. Why is the Ten of Cords here? Yeah, the, the, the High Priestess. You're keeping things to yourself. And you're using your intuition. Yeah, you're not letting nobody know how much money you got. The Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. You're keeping that to yourself. <laughs> Because you don't want nobody asking you for nothing. <laughs> Why is the high priestess with the ten of pentacles? Or are you secretly holding holding back on a family situation? But the fool, you're ready to take a risk on something. You're ready to take a risk? Secretly, you want to take a risk here and build with somebody. Is what I'm hearing. Yeah, you want to, I think you secretly want to give and take, equal give and take with somebody. And you want to secretly invest in something or someone. Why is a fool here with the high priestess? 
Yeah, this is somebody that um, you got a, a lot of passion for. Because we got the king and the queen of wands here. You're making a judgment, taking action towards somebody that you got a lot of passion for. Then something is going to go in your favor. You're about to take a risk here. But you ain't let nobody know. Secretly. You don't want something to be a missed opportunity. Why is the king? Why is the king and the queen of wands here with judgment? Oh, you're in love with this person. I'm hearing somebody wants a second. Somebody in your past wants a second chance, but it's a no go. You're moving, taking a risk. With somebody that you got a lot of passion with. With somebody that you know you can build with. This could be a new person. And you're in love with this person. Just, yeah, you're cutting. Oh, and we got the king, and, the king and the queen here. So you could definitely. Yeah, we got the king and the queen of swords. The king and the, the, king and the queen of wands. You got the Wheel of Fortune, too, at the bottom of the, of the deck. Again, the Wheel of Fortune. Something is definitely going in your, fa in your favor. I hear divine timing here, too. Something is divinely guided here. Yeah. You're ending something with somebody in your past. Huh. Why is the four coins here? Why is the four coins here? You're kind of confused. That's why you're holding back. You have options. Maybe you're leaving your options open. Mm. The world card. Endings, new beginnings. I hear you're ending. You're putting it into confusion. Maybe options. And maybe holding back from something or someone. Why is the seven... A cusp with the world card. Yeah, unexpected. Something unexpected. The tower. Ooh. Something here is going. Maybe somebody you've been holding on to left you, ghosted you, and you regretting something there. What is the tower about, God? Let me just answer the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. What is the tower about? Okay, so you're moving away to calmer waters after something unexpected went down there. Yeah, you're moving towards a new beginning here, a new passionate beginning with somebody that you see eye to eye with, someone you feel is your soulmate, someone you feel is equally yoked, and you think very highly of this person. The Empress, and that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Oh, wait, you finna make an offer here to somebody? You're, you're thinking about making an offer here or something stable here with somebody? Huh. Ooh. Taurus. <laughs> You've gotten a different perspective on things. You want stability. Yeah, you want to make an offer here to somebody, but you're a little confused. Why is the nine of wands here? Why is the nine of wands here? All oh, those cards, okay. Yeah, look at the. I told you you want to make an offer. Look at the Knight of Cups, and you got the knight in the Knight of Pentacles. But you're moving real slow. You're moving real slow because you've been through a lot, so you're gonna take your time here. You've been through a lot. You've got a different perspective. That's why things are at a standstill. Because you've been through a lot here. So, But you're trying to cut. You you want things to move. You don't want things to stay stagnant. You, you're about to cut that, off, cut that out and move towards stability. You're strategizing on how you're going to do it too. Okay. Why is the Knight of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, so you feel kind of stuck. You're mentally stuck here. 
But you're trying to manifest something here. Definitely trying to manifest something. What's the outcome here? Ooh. Oh, wow. I mean, I, as I'm shuffling, you got cards that's, the, that's falling out. The four of cups and the five of cups. Universe is offering you something, Taurus. But you're thinking about your past. But I see here that maybe somebody in your past offered you something and you turned it down. I don't know. You're juggling the idea of it. But you don't have too many good memories of the past. You're definitely in love with somebody here, Taurus. For sure. What's the outcome here? Yeah, you're possibly still going through heartbreak, too. Yeah. Why is it three of swords here? Or at the end of the day, somebody's going to be heartbroken. Yeah, because somebody's going to go somebody. And somebody's going to be heartbroken. Why is it three of swords with the hermit? Or maybe you're, you're healing from heartbreak. Why is it three of swords with the hermit? The two of swords. You got a decision here to make. And somebody gonna be heartbroken. That's what I'm getting. What I'm hearing. Why is the two of swords with the hermit and the three of swords? You got a decision to make that you're refusing to make. But you're gonna have a tower here. You're gonna have a tower here and something is gonna move you. This tower gonna come in here and it's gonna move you on to calmer waters. But I don't know. Why is the hermit with the three of swords and the two of swords got angels? And it's just this Holy Spirit. Yeah, something is a burden for you right now. You got to let somebody go. You got to make a decision to let somebody go. Something here is about to happen very quickly. Communication is going to be happening very quickly. And it's going to burden somebody. It's gonna, somebody's going to be heartbroken too. Hey, Taurus, what is going on here? Because mm. somebody here is sneaking away. Somebody here is shady, been doing something behind somebody's back. Somebody thinks I'm, somebody think they're getting away with something, too. But I don't think so. Didn't I see the high priestess? Yes, I did. Somebody here knows something. Somebody knows what someone is doing. So you're not getting away with anything. Taurus, this could be you or the person that you're dealing with, okay? Somebody knows something, and it's about to come to the light. Something is about to come to the light, so. I think y'all had this this before. <laughs> this sounds familiar with you, Taurus. Or this could be your person. I don't know. What y'all doing? Why is the Ten of Wands with the Eight of Wands? Something is about to happen quickly, though. And somebody will possibly turn their back on a situation. Whatever the communication is going to be about. Somebody trying to figure out something, too. Somebody's going to be regretting, and they're going to miss an opportunity. Somebody here is going to miss an opportunity. Okay, let's get some. Oh, I didn't get you a. Let's get a. Um, let me get some advice from the universe. I see y'all in manifestation mode. What is the out? What? Give me some advice here, God angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit. What is the advice for Taurus in this situation? What is the advice? What is the advice? Mm. Oh, I got my. I got the I got passion here. That's the Ace of Wands. Something new. So that's why I say it. Some of y'all definitely could be healing from a situation. Some of y'all is going to have to communicate to someone. and Because you want to start something new. You want to start something new. Because you're attracted to somebody here. You're in love with somebody. Yeah, you got to have the willpower. Get the willpower to do this. You got to do it. 
Because it's burdening you. It is burdening you, but you got to do it. Because it's just going to take you to your ten of cups. You got to end something to start something new. So, Taurus, this is what I have for you. If you resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, guys, from now until the end of May, readings are $25. One question is $10. All my information is in the description box below. Love you guys. Bye.